Well, happy Monday. Warming it up. Still, the volumes are crazy down, but we got some work. A few local runs here and there this week. But, guys, the rates are still up. Just the volumes are down. That's the only problem. Heading up to Seattle to grab a 40-footer. Going just maybe, what, 10, 10 miles over to Kent. 10 to 15 miles over to Kent. Paying 500 bucks, which is pretty good. Usually, you know, in the busy time, a few months ago, we were able to do two to three of those a day. Now we're lucky if you get one to two a day. But guys, we're going to wait it out, see what's going to happen. Not in a hurry. You know, I'm having a third kid coming this month. So we'll see after New Year. Hopefully things improve. If not, we've got a couple other things on the mind. I definitely need to sell this thing. Bought it uh, beginning of summer this year just had a small front end accident all i had to do was replace the front bumper got it for a pretty good deal ten thousand lower than kbb but it's got a seven inch lift 35 inch tires just a 5.3 gasser yeah let's do a quick ptr over here hopefully we got one tire that's always leaks on the other side we got to pump up and this is not my chassis, guys. I'm a power only guy. This is basically dispatcher I work for provides the chassis. It's a nice chassis because I could haul 220s, 140, or one heavy 20 right in the middle. All you do is just pop these pins up. You pop this one up if you want to haul 220s, 120 in the front, and 120 in the back. And it slides out. So you slide it out for the 40 footer. Another reason it's important to do the PTIs. Just found a low tire at about 60, 65 PSI in it. We'll just pump it up. Couldn't find a nail or anything, but it seems like it's the valve stem. So we'll have to go ahead and fix that later. But it's always nice to have this hose right here. Just plug it in the red line on the track there. Push in the valve and you're good. Diesel currently is 449, which is probably the cheapest diesel around here uh tacoma area the cheapest would be tahoma yeah uh, 489 i believe right now actually no it's 499 so 449 seattle shrees uh if you guys want to save a little money so we're actually rolling up ready to t5 seattle terminal and actually just uh, got the rate confirmation 50 bucks more so we doing a 550 from t5 to kent which is not too bad all standby is uh detention pay is all after one hour at the terminal and at the warehouse so that's what i kind of like about these local runs you know they're only like 10 15 miles yet they pay not good especially if you do what two three a day but sadly you know with the volume down it's lucky if you get to a day right now Just like that, we got our loaded container. Took us about one and a half hours just to pull one container. Sometimes these ports, guys, that's where all the waiting time is at. We do more waiting and, and sitting around more than driving. guys first trip of the week arrived over at chef's warehouse in kent small little warehouse this was a, well luckily there's no trailers to back in this time over here but everything looks pretty good our oil guys man this thing barely eats any oil what i did about twelve thousand miles in the old oil maybe i'd say half a gallon that's at most half a gallon is what it maybe ate but other than that this thing is running solid the bully dog turbo guys i mean so far i'm loving it especially the quicker spool and i already recommended this turbo over to two other guys if they got they got about one mile per gallon improvement and the 12 gauge sits pretty good right now other than that no leaks that i see on this side go check over on that side 
This side's pretty darn pretty good too. Might have to tighten this up right here. I know I've tightened this nut up before and it stopped leaking. It looks like it just started leaking again. Gotta check that out. The side pretty good too. About the last video. You know, I wouldn't mind selling this truck, but guys, I cannot find another truck. You know, I'm looking and looking for another truck. There's nothing decent on the market, you know, because I'm not just going to get out of trucking right now. But guys, in the meantime, I got a new bumper coming, new 20 inch bumper. This one's not bad. It has uh, two creases right there, if you guys could tell. That's because it was uh, bent right there and on the left side as well. Might be able to bend it out. Maybe hook up a chain and just pull it bottom a little bit. But other than that, it's a pretty good bumper. It's a 20 inch middle and a 16 inch side. One thing that's nice about it is uh, usually this is the part where you always hit everywhere. There's the edges. So I don't know, I'm gonna be have to be really extra careful with the next bumper. These guys are pretty quick. Only about 15 minutes in and already almost unloaded. guy has to dig out my container he has to set off three containers just to get to my container but guys this is uh the railroad this is not the terminal a lot better than the terminal because it's a lot less strict you just go straight to your location but not bad guys doing our second trip today back to sumner for uh puyallup actually back to puyallup for 550 bucks so guys all in all in one day you know 1100 1200 bucks a day to get some standby detention pay which is pretty good i'm happy with it if only it was like this every single day which in a slow time it's not like this every day but we did have a good summer hopefully it improves after new year airbag system that has the double bags you can take those leaf springs and put them on it can work and it's which should be a lot smoother as well
worked with basically four four different dispatchers, four or five different dispatchers, and that kept me real busy. But now I'm stuck to one because I'm now I moved on to just power only local stuff. And because he, this dispatcher gave me the chassis, I'm kind of stuck only to him right now. these guys there's a line into the port and it is backed up so we gotta go all the way around well guys 10 a.m. and we parked but we're gonna go ahead we got some new door handles basically these pieces right here all these plastic pieces right here they wear out and it makes it really hard to open the door that you have to sometimes jam the door in and then just to open it you can buy these plastic pieces separately i'll post the part number if you guys want to just replace these plastic pieces but guys i just ended up buying whole new door handles old ones are a little bit scratched up so that should be look a little better Guys, I'm super excited for the new bumper. Can't wait for that. Seems like it should be getting shipped out uh, this week from Rainey's. Came, about, came out to about 11, 11.50. Actually knocked it down a little bit for them to uh, drop the shipping. Basically, once I pick it up from the freight terminal, I send them the bill of lading and they will actually refund me about 110 bucks uh, so I, for the residential charge. So if you guys want the shipping to be a little bit cheaper, try to pick it up from the freight, freight terminal and try to get them to refund the residential charge. Well, looks like in my case, just replacing the plastic pieces wouldn't work because they actually cracked right there. If you guys could tell, my door handle cracked right there. So it was always making it harder for it to open up. But as well as some of these plastic pieces are just really worn out you guys could tell that's just you don't want extra movement right there and then that also ends up opening the door harder all these are basically pretty much worn out one of this one's cut was cracked but yeah guys there's also some more pieces that you could replace like inside right here on the hinge part hopefully i have some extra new ones to put in right there and for the slock cylinder guys, super simple. You just pop this clip out and you just put the new lock cylinder in like that and put the clip back in from your old one. Nothing to it. Uh, it actually does come with an extra, few extra pieces. This one I got from Trusted TRQ. Pretty good price. I think it was like 40, 50 bucks a piece, a handle. But yeah guys, that's it. For this video guys, hopefully you guys like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.